Hello everyone and welcome to Code Escuela. Did you know that there is an easy way to lay out your Mod Blazor applications or any Blazor applications? And that is by using Mod Blazor wireframes. So with wireframes, it has already uh, lets you use uh, layouts easily in your Blazor applications by just copying and pasting this initial uh, templates that they have pre prepared already so that you can integrate a uh, mud blazer within your blazer applications quickly so uh, if you go through the mud blazer website and go to the wireframes page it will show you a list of options that you can use there are three main layouts that you can use for your blazer application so in this case the first one would be the easiest one wherein you have the app bar only on the top and then the next one here on the middle one is where the uh, navigation uh, section is on the left and then the application bar is on the top and then the left one is a variation of that navigation page or the variation of this middle one but the navigation uh, section is flushed to the left of the application bar so uh, how do we integrate that in our blazer application so there are two options that you can do first off is if you have a new project you can just use the existing mud blazer templates uh, when you start creating your project so by default that project already supports uh, this kind of layout wherein the application bar is on the top and in the left side of it or the left section would be below the application bar wherein the navigation uh, section is placed all right <clears throat> and so if we run this one i have already a project here as an example it's named uh, modblazer.wireframe.alpha and so let's look at how uh, this modblazer template looks like by default okay so this is the layout and then this already supports switching from uh, light mode and dark mode okay so as you can see it follows uh, the wireframe suggested or given here in the this middle part or middle one wherein it has the top bar and then the navigation section on the left below it all right so the most uh, simplest layout would be this app bar only. So how do you use this one if you want to use this layout? So we can just click on this uh, button here and it will show you the uh, code. And then let's just copy this one and drop it into our main layout uh, razor page. Okay, it's under components layout and then main layout that razor okay so what we do here is we just replace this one all right and paste it here save the file and we should be getting the most simplest uh, most basic layout okay coming from that wireframe template next let's try this other one since we have already have this one by default if we use this one again just click on this a button here and then let's just copy paste this one only the main layout uh, section okay and then paste it here let's remove this paste the new code and then we should be able to get the new layout which means that it has the uh, navigation section flushed on the left side next to the uh, application bar okay so it still has this functionality wherein you can show and hide that section all right so that's how easy it is if you have already been using the uh, mud blazer template as the basis of your blazer project okay <clears throat> so the other one would be in case you have already an existing blazer application and you want to uh, integrate or use the mud blazer layout and it's along with its uh, components then 
here we have here uh, I've already added a prepared a project here we're in this is just a default I mean a basic uh, blazor application okay it has, doesn't have the mud blazor components in it yet okay and so uh, what you want to do is to install the necessary mud blazor references and libraries and components that you need okay so that would be easy also so you have this installation instructions as part of the mud blazor documentation so let's just click this one and as you can see we have here under manual install uh, it's just a, a few steps so first off is you need to install the mud blazor package so to do that you can right click on the dependencies here right click on that and then manage nuget packages and then you should be able to find uh, the mud blazor package by searching for it here and then the first one or the first result that comes up would be this mud blazor and then install this package okay that would be the first step now after that you have done that next is to add, add the imports in your imports.razor file so how do you do that you go to your imports.razor file so that would be under components and then imports.razor okay just open that uh, one up and then add this line at using mudblazor so that's uh, another step and then another step to do is to add the references to these links of uh, file file references so this would be uh, includes the mudblazor css and then some additional uh, fonts that mudblazor uses so to do that in this case you just go to the app.razor okay and then add it here so you add it here so uh, there would be some other links also here so you have to remove that since by default it uses bootstrap so remove those uh, references and then add this two new references that will be used by mudblazor so after that step at the bottom you also need to add this line here so add a script line at the bottom that references the mudblazor uh, javascript file that is needed by mudblazor also and then after that you need to uh, add the mud services okay so how do you do that you go to the program.cs file and then just right about like next to or below to below this line you can add the add mud services or call the add mud services method okay that would uh, add any whatever is services that mud mud blazer uses in its components okay and lastly after you've done all of those steps the the last one would be to add this uh, components within your main layout so these are the stuff that is required for your uh, blazer application to function properly or correctly with uh, the mud blazer components okay so you can ba basically just copy this one and head on to your main layout uh, that razor file so that is under main layout and then paste it at the top okay just under this inherits layout component base uh, line and then yeah that should be uh, pretty much uh, what you need to get started with mud blazor for your ex existing blazor application so let's just quickly run this uh, okay uh, I forgot to set the correct project so let's just stop this for a moment and then switch to wire mudblazor.wireframe.bravo right click on that and then set a startup project and then we should be able to run this application so now it does not contain anything since we are yet to apply the wireframe that uh, we will use so basically let's just go through each of these three main layouts so with the app bar just again copy the code here and then go back to our main layout and then we'll just remove all of this section and then paste it here 
save the file and we should be getting the new mod blazor layout based on their wireframe so this is the simplest one with only the application bar at the top okay so let's try the other one here that has the navigation section at the bottom so let's copy in uh, all of this code including the one under the code section and let's do it here okay paste it here save the file and we should be getting this all right so we should be getting the new uh, application bar on top with a navigation section or a drawer section on the left at below the application bar okay next up would be the one we're in the drawer is on flushed on the left beside the app bar so again it's simple as copying this code copy that one paste it in our main layout remove that first and then paste it here save the file we should be able to get that new layout all right uh, and again the buttons for hiding and showing the drawer is also still functional okay so yeah, that's how easy it is to integrate and use the wireframes to use in your Blazor applications and set a new layout for your pages, okay? And so yeah, I guess uh, that would be it for this episode. And again, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and see you again in our next episode.